Y'all, we're gonna be reverse searing two tri-tips today using the new twin temp spike thermometers to make sure we don't mess those tri-tips up. Wanna stick around for this one. What's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ. Welcome to my backyard. So glad you're here. Y'all, we're going to be, like I said, reverse searing a couple tri-tips today. We're going to be using our Ninja wood fire grill, right? We're going to get some of that wood fire smoke on it and then we're going to sear it up real good. Some nice crustification going on there. These tri-tips are already marinated. They're going to be amazing. They're from uh, Branding Iron Ranch here in California. I'll put a link down below for you to check out their website. But as you can tell, this video is sponsored by Thermapro. Long time channel friend. Thermapro sent me out their new twin temp spike thermometer. Since you all dug that single probe temp spike, I figured I had to bring you the new twin temp spike thermometer. This way you could do two different proteins at the same time. I went with two tri-tips because I had two tri-tips and who doesn't like tri-tip? All right, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> These probes are highly accurate, dishwasher safe, and they let you track the cooking of multiple ingredients all at once. Try not to make this sound like an infomercial as I'm reading through this stuff, but this is what you're gonna get. Each probe has dual temp sensors to keep the internal temps and the ambient temps in your uh, cooker. The new twin temp spike thermometer has this smart booster right here that allows for readouts for both probes and it has a backlit LCD display so you can read it in any light condition. And of course, if y'all wanna get yourself one of these twin temp spikes, there's gonna be a link down below to my actual Thermapro page since I am one of their ambassadors. I got my own page, all right? So this cook's gonna be real simple. We are going to smoke the tri-tips until they hit about 125 internal, all right? And then we're gonna pull them off that grill grate, set them aside, and then pump up the heat, baby. We're gonna take that grill setting to high, and then we'll sear off both sides of the tri-tips, get a nice crust on there, we'll char, right? Then we'll take them inside, we'll slice them up. Guys, let's go ahead and get this wood fire grill fired up. Come on back. All right, y'all, the pellets we're using are uh, an almond wood with a little Cabernet flavor. Figure it'd go well with the tri-tip. These are knotty wood pellets. So we'll pour those in. Okay. All right, we're turning the wood fire grill to the smoker setting. We're gonna do a temperature 275. We're trying to speed it up a little bit tonight. It's almost dinner time. It's a weeknight. We wanna get fed. You know what I'm saying. All right, four hours is fine. Obviously, we're keeping temperatures here. I will let you know how long it takes. I'm thinking it should only be about a half hour of smoke and bop five, 10 minutes of uh, searing. Okay, let's hit start. Let that ignition process do what it do. And we'll come back and put the tri-tips on. Team, the smoke is rolling. Let's go ahead and get these uh, tri-tips on. Those knotty wood pellets smell really good. One tri-tip on. We got a little yin and yang pattern going on here. Here we go, guys. Looking good. All right, y'all. Tri-tips are on. I'm saying it'll be about half hour to 45 minutes. While this is going on, I need to go out front to check on my garden. That's right, your boy started a garden. We got all the herbs and all the good stuff we want in there. And I know what you're thinking, just because it's California, you think it's that, that funny herbs that we got out here. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It's none of your business. But we do got some good stuff going in there. So, all right guys, I'm gonna go out front. And then the good thing about this, besides the chimes right here, the good thing about this dual probe temp spike wireless thermometer, I have an app for it. I've shown you it already. We're gonna go out front and I can keep an eye on these uh, tri-tips while I'm working on that garden, right? Let's go check it out. See, I wasn't lying about my garden. Fresh herbs. And while we're out here, we can check our probes. That, 90 degrees. One tri-tip's a little thinner than the other, but looking pretty good. I love that I'm all the way up front. It's got 500 feet of range. I'm already in the front of my house, looking at my garden, checking my temps, baby. All right, I'll meet y'all back when it's done. All right, guys, we've reached our temperature. And just because it's such a cool deal, it actually sends you an alert when you've reached your temperature. Now, since only the black probe is up to temperature, I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes just to catch, let that white probe catch up a little bit. But it's very cool that we got the alert on there and we're able to get this thing going. Hey. This is a pretty cool little setup, right? Okay, also, I know it doesn't look like it in the camera, but we are losing light out here. So I'll get as much filming as I can, you know, with the grilling and the, and the searing and all that, but we're probably gonna finish this one in the house, all right? 
Come on back. All right, y'all, tri-tips are done. Well, <laughs> they're done smoking. All right, let's go ahead and get these off and onto a tray over here on the side. Now we're gonna shut this down. We'll go ahead and turn it off. Got the grill setting on high for 15 minutes and then just hit start, okay? We'll let it go through the preheating process for the grill and then we'll get the tri-tip seared off. We went ahead and took the probes out since we're uh, pretty much done with these. We're gonna sear them off on both sides about a minute each, maybe a little bit more, but it's only gonna up the temperature about 10, 15 degrees. So we're good with taking the probes Let's out. Let's get these tri-tips on. Woo. I'm using line gloves. Do not try this without having some kind of heat protection on. And we can leave this lid open. We're just doing some searing right now. We'll give it a minute and then we'll give it a flip. Okay, time to give them a flip. There you go, that's what you're looking for right there. Nice and seared up. Beautiful marks. All right, that's what you're looking for right there. All right, another couple minutes to grill up the other side, to char it up. And we'll take it off and let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes. And then we'll slice let into it. Rest. It. We're about ready to slice into it. All right, we got the grains going this way, the other grains going like this. So we're gonna cut it right in the middle. Take a look at beautiful medium rare. Beautiful. All right, let's slice against the grain, thin slices. Juicy as can be. You want your tri-tip slices as thin as you can get against the grain. We'll plate them up. All right, we're gonna slice up the rest of the tri-tip and we'll be right back. Get a little drizzle of our Parmesan cream sauce. All right, guys, let's try it. Hey guys, as you can see, we're back in the house. We sliced up the tri-tip. Got me a bite right here. It's perfection. What can I say? Too dang good. All right. Cooked to perfection using that Thermapro dual probe temp spike thermometer. All right, guys. So, again, links down below if you want to get yourself one. Thank you to Thermapro for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to get anything I use in my videos, links are all down below. If you want to become a show producer like all these people scrolling in front of me, people who I know are going to run out and click that link and get that dual probe temp spike, hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. Other than that, guys, hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.